Hey everybody. Welcome to Rachel's Room, where every Thursday I answer your questions. So let's do that. Enough dilly-dallying for the day. Who has time for dilly-dallying? I know when you were little, you were a tomboy. At what age did you start acting more girly? I was a massive tomboy, like huge tomboy from when I was allowed to dress myself through sixth grade. And then in sixth grade, I started getting more and more hate for it. People were getting more and more mean. Even older people, I was at a grocery store once. The bagger looked at me and goes, are you a boy or a girl? And I just started crying. Then I was like, okay, I guess I should be a little more girly. So in seventh and eighth grade, I stopped wearing cargo pants and wore jeans. And then when I was in high school, I was like, oh, I like boys. Boys like girls. Well, the ones I want to date. So I might as well, you know, act a little more girly. But I didn't start acting more girly. I just started looking more girly. You know how it worked out for me. And now I'm this. I'm wearing a skirt. Now it's this. This is what's happening to me now. I don't know how this happened. My 10 year old self would be so disappointed in me. Were you ever had a skateboard? I'm guessing you're asking if I ever owned a skateboard. Yes! I was never like extremely good at skateboarding. I could do a couple tricks. I was too scared of getting hurt. I was a wimp. But I love longboarding now. Do you read all the comments? Actually, yeah, I read a lot of them. Sometimes I have to stop because they get mean. <laughs> when people are behind a computer, they think that they can be mean and get away with it and they're not actually hurting anyone. Guess what, guys? Your comments are evil sometimes. And I am a human, and so yes, I get hurt by them. Calm your faces sometimes. I like this guy, but he's dating my friend. I really like him and have never liked someone as much as I liked him over a year. What do I do? KDT, you do absolutely nothing. What you do is you go out and find another guy because guess what? That is not your boy. That is your friend's boy. That is off limits. You do not touch him. You do not look at him. You do not even think about him. He is your friend's boyfriend, not your boyfriend. If they break up, and he's like, by the way, I always secretly liked you, then maybe we can figure out a solution to your problem. As long as he's dating your friend, off limits. Do you ever use the stuff that you were taught in school in your real life? Yes, actually I do. Here are things that you definitely need to pay attention to. Basic English, we all use social media typing wise and emails. You need grammar. Pay attention in English. Yes, yeah, sometimes you can zone out during Shakespeare stuff, but seriously, learn your grammar. Basic algebra. You will use this for the rest of your life. Geometry, trigonometry, you can zone out a little bit. I mean, you still have to, you know, do the work. Econ. When you're in high school, take econ. You guys might not know what in the world I'm talking about. One day you will. Learn econ because that will teach you how to do finances and things like that. And you will need that because that's what you do when you're a grown up. Other than that, uh, it's it would be nice if I had paid attention to learn a foreign language. That'd be really great on my part. I would have loved to be fluent in Spanish, but I'm not. And you know what? As weird as it is, I have had to know history stuff. It's really weird, but it comes up in conversation. Woodshop, fantastic class, learned a lot in that one. Still use that stuff today. When will you do another drunken kitchen? Never. Being drunk takes so much work. I don't like getting drunk, uh, really. No, I don't want to. Are you going to VidCon? If so, are you going with Colleen? I am going to VidCon. VidCon's already happening at the moment, and I'm not there because I have to pick Colleen up from the airport tonight because she randomly decided to fly to Orlando, Florida for Ariana's birthday party. So after I pick Colleen up from the airport tonight, we are going to VidCon. Friday morning at 11, I'm doing some Jeopardy thing. I don't even know where or what, but find me because it's 11 a.m. I'm doing YouTube Jeopardy, and I'm going to fail like no other. But if you want to come cheer me on, do that, please, because that would be awesome just to have some love and support while I'm failing. I'll be going like this, but you guys, you push me back up. You push me back up to the life of love. And then Saturday, I will be at VidCon all day with my sister. Do you wear onesies? <laughs> Never. The disgusting, preposterous question. Who is your latest kiss? Uh, my latest kiss? Ooh, again, truth or dairy, getting gossip girl, getting 16 on me. Jackson. <laughs> Jackson is my friend Teeny's son. He's cute and he gives me kisses. What's your favorite thing to eat? Uh, food, mostly. Yeah, food. Would you ever consider modeling? I once did model, guys. That's me, I modeled. That little loser, that's me. Yeah, I don't know how old I was. My mom knows, mom, how old was I? Not that you're gonna scream back at me, but I mean, you could comment it. Yeah, I modeled once, it was fun, but as I said, I was a massive tomboy. They put me in a dress, I hated it, never wanted to model again because I was in a dress and that sucked. That's my time to shine. 
Alright, that's all the questions we have for today. Please leave your comments for next week so I can maybe answer them on next week's Rachel's Room. Also, tweet me your questions with the hashtag Rachel's Room and so I can find them on Twitter. Subscribe to see what pisses me off every Tuesday and Rachel's Room every Thursday. And remember guys, stay awesome possums. You learn in kindergarten not to cut line. You get rewarded as a child for not cutting the line. When in the